Use any ATM of your convenience and stand a chance to win gold sovereigns. Lanka Pay. President Anurag Kumar Desanayake assumed duties as the Minister of Agriculture, Lands, Livestock, Irrigation, Fisheries and Aquatic Resources today. These ministries, including the ministries of agriculture and land, have a significant responsibility in eradicating poverty in the country. The majority of the population has a livelihood built around agriculture and fisheries. Therefore, eradicating rural poverty depends on how efficiently we manage these ministries. The public's decision to elect a new political movement to govern the country is a choice backed by determination and hope. There are several reasons behind this decision. One is the aversion to the current political culture in the country. The public desires a change in the political culture that seems to be above them. The second reason is economic issues. Thirdly, there is a pressing need for an efficient public service. Regardless of how well public sector employees perform their duties, if we were to ask the public whether they are satisfied with the services they receive, they would like to respond negatively. The public has also realized that, in addition to misguided policies, wastage, corruption and fraudulent activities are significant contributors to this economic crisis. While my authority is vested in me by the constitution, the constitution exists as a result of the mandate granted by the people. We need a governance structure that respects and protects the trust inherent in that mandate. We will support you in fulfilling your duties and will stand by you should you encounter any difficulties. President Anurag Kumar Desar Naika further emphasized that the next 40 days will be a transitional period during which public servants must ensure the continuity of the public service without disruption. He also indicated that new ministers will be appointed to these ministries following the next general election. The president reassured public officials that he will not subject them to public questioning by the media as previous leaders have done. He made it clear that he does not support such media spectacles and is committed to creating a public service that meets the needs of citizens while upholding the dignity of public servants.